Hey guys, Technomentary here with a video for you guys. In this video today, we're gonna show you guys how to factory wipe or reset your MacBook. So this method will work for any MacBook, pretty straightforward. We're gonna walk you guys through how to do it. This is especially helpful if you're looking to sell or give away your MacBook or upgrading because you want to remove all of your personal data. And before we go ahead and get started in this video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button for future updates as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the wiping or factory resetting of your MacBook. The first thing you wanna do before you even do any of this is make sure you are backed up either using your I Apple iCloud, or if you have what's known as Time Machine, make sure you're backed up. And if you're upgrading, make sure everything on your other device is there already. Because once you do that, factory reset, you're not gonna be able to get back any of your data. This is a complete wipeout of all of your data, meaning your documents, your pictures, videos, accounts, anything you name it that you saved on your MacBook. This is gonna factory reset it like you originally got it and the data is not recoverable at all. So before you proceed, that's the fair warning in this video. Of course, you know, you are taking a risk by wiping it out if you haven't backed it up. If you don't care to do that, entirely up to you. You can find videos on our ch other channel where to do this backup, but that's the first thing you wanna do. And once you have done that, you're pretty much good with your data and you're okay with wiping it clean. Follow the step that we're gonna show you guys. The first thing you wanna do, of course, is click on this Apple logo and open up system preferences. If you don't see it there, you can also use the spotlight search and then just put in system preferences and you can go to this menu. Why we're here at this menu is simply to make sure that we are signed out of our Apple ID here. So what happens is when you originally set up your MacBook, you're logged into your Apple ID to do everything from iMessage to FaceTime and to download any apps, Apple requires you to sign in. What this also does is creates a security layer that this MacBook is yours and someone else can't use it and you can lock it yourself or you know completely lock someone out of it. But what you need to do is to reset it is that you're gonna wanna sign out. As you can see for our purposes here, we're already signed out. If you're not signed out, you'll see your name and then you're gonna see sign out button here. Just click on that, enter your password. You'll need the original password to prove that you are the owner of the device. If you're not the owner of the device, resetting it won't do you any good. So you're gonna make sure that you are signed out, good to go. And then after you have done that, we're gonna go ahead and click that X button. And the next thing you wanna do is power off your MacBook. You can power it off by going, click on the Apple logo again and using the shutdown option, or you can press this power button here. Either way it works, hold it down, shut it down. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this machine down completely. And as you can see, it's spinning now. It is shut off and good to go. And this time around, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys below in the screen here, right? This is important. So this time around, to turn it back on, we're gonna do something special. What we're gonna do is get into this iOS recovery mode. And to do that, we're gonna hold this Command key and the R key. So that's the Mac OS recovery mode menu will be activated. So we're gonna hold Command and R key, and we're gonna hold it after we press the power button. So that's important. Make sure the f MacBook is fully turned off. We're gonna hit the, hold the power button, and then Command R. Just keep on holding it here with your two fingers. You can either use this command or that, doesn't matter. Just keep on holding it. You'll see the Apple logo, it's looking to boot up, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna boot up in this special menu known as Mac OS Recovery, which allows us to do a couple things such as wiping out our laptop, reinstalling the iOS, and getting some troubleshooting help. We will explain that further in the video um, once we get to that menu. Generally, depending on what kind of MacBook you have, if you're a new, if you have a newer one, this is gonna be a little bit faster. If you have an older one, it's gonna take a little bit more time, you know, but 
essentially once we get into that menu we're able to do everything that we need to to wipe out this macbook and erase everything that we have so as you can see it's still loading the apple logo is it don't let go of this because if you let go it's just gonna boot up normally but if you keep on holding it it's sending a signal to the macbook that you want it to open up that special mac os a recovery mode where we can do a lot more of that so keep on holding you'll see it's loading up again and this time we let go and this time you'll see this examining your volume sometimes that takes a little bit longer sometimes shorter it just depends on how much stuff that you have on your actual hard disk so as you can see now we have get this mac os utility screen or the uh, recovery menu and you have multiple options here the options we're really concerned about is this disk utility so we're going to click on this disk utility double click on that and once you double click on it let's move this up a little bit for you guys you will get to this sort of um, screen and generally this is where you get it and it kind of tells you about the usage of your macbook as you can see here i have multiple um disk here and what we're going to do is click on up here where you go to view and then we're going to show all devices once you show all devices you'll see a, a lot more expansion here and what you're going to do is click on right here where you have the first internal apple ssd or for you it might be something different you want to click the top layer of that and once you click on that top layer you'll see this option to erase becomes available to us we're going to click on erase and once you click on erase it's going to ask you you know this will permanently erase all data stored on it and can't be undo as we mentioned in the beginning of the video and you're going to want to rename this probably something like apple ssd or hard drive whatever you have doesn't matter and leave this alone the format and the scheme you don't want to mess with it unless you really know what you're doing leave those as is and then you're going to hit that erase option and as you can see it's starting to erase and this is going smoothly as you can see now and we have a green check mark and the process is complete as you saw this was pretty fast um deleting or wiping out of your hard disk this is because this one did not have any data or much data at all if you have one that's at full capacity it might take you a couple minutes to half an hour even an hour depending on how old your macbook is and how good the processor is and once you have done that we're gonna hit that done button and now we have factory you know wiped out our macbook well, what happens is now is that there is no iOS or no operating system. That means that you can't really boot up to anything. And we're going to have to reinstall the Mac OS that we have. And to do that, we're going to exit this menu and then go back to the Mac OS utility. This time, we're going to go to this option where it says reinstall Mac OS. Or what you can do is, is if you have a backup that you deleted and wanted to put it back on this, you can restore from that backup using that time machine backup that we mentioned. But for our cases, if you're reselling it or give it to someone for to use it, you're gonna wanna select this reinstall Mac OS and then hit that continue button. And once you have that continue button, it's gonna tell you what version of the Mac OS it's gonna install and to set up the install, you're gonna hit this continue button. And once you hit that continue button, it's gonna take a moment or two and then you're gonna get this legal war, um, kind of message for their licensing agreement. We're gonna to have to agree to their licensing agreement and then the next thing you want to do is select the hard disk that you want to install the Mac OS here. As you can see, we just wiped it and everything is available. Pretty much the total is 250 and 250 is available. You want to select this and then you'll hit, see this install button. Click on that install, hit continue. And it's going to start the install process. Of course, as you can see, the install process is 
about 23 minutes here. It could be longer, shorter, depending on what OS you're installing, but we won't wait that long. It will just take us to the welcome screen where we initially have to go through when we first originally get the MacBook. So hopefully that's it for you guys. It was helpful for you guys watching this video. If you have any comment, question, leave it in the comment section. We'll try to answer that for you guys. And please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for future tips and tricks on any iOS device. See you guys next time.